were you able to show off your speed today? Yeah, um, definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, very happy with where I'm at. Reminds me of my high school days running track. Um, I miss those days, but uh, yeah, it's happy with what I ran. So what do you feel like you have to show these scouts that maybe maybe got on the radar today with how you ran? Yeah. What else do you need to show them? Um, I mean, for me, my biggest thing was showing that I was fast and giving myself an opportunity to hopefully, uh, you know, get an invite, get undrafted free agent. Hey, that get an man. Opportunity. <laughs> get out of here, boy. Uh, just get an opportunity to play. That's really all I was fighting for. Whatever I need to show, hopefully they let me know, and I can do that. Hopefully today showed, um, you know, my athleticism, and that's really all I'm looking for. Just one opportunity. So. What is working with Anthony and training with him, going through everything with him been like? It's been fun. I mean, with all the guys, with him, uh, Austin, CJ, Afadi, we had some guys from Kentucky, uh, Mike Zunica, and a guy from Washburn, uh, Cody Hyman. It was it was a blast. I wish that those two guys from Kansas could have came here and worked out just to see what everyone's done. Um, but overall, it was fun. Like, the experience at TC Boost was like none other. Um, just a small group and us being boys already and working together and playing together, it's been a great experience. So. The team asked you about Austin. How would you describe him as a, as a man, as a player? And Go. G O A T, go. That's that's it. That's all I gotta say. What, what makes him that though? You gotta I mean, you guys seen it. I mean, the best receiver in the Big Ten. Um, his personality is my best friend. He's been best friend since the summer uh, freshman year. Him and Matt Macucci, we've been boys since forever. Um, and just to see him go from where he was, walk on, cutting his finger, the butter knife, uh, running, rushing the meetings, and then uh, just being where he is now, it's it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, I would like to say that he's followed in my footsteps, you know, getting engaged in college and getting married. He waited a little bit longer than I did, but he also knew, knew his fiance now, uh, soon to be wife in July, a little bit later than I did. So, um, it's, I mean, it's exciting. I can't wait to, for the day I get to be in his wedding, like he was in mine. So it'll be a fun, fun day. And as a father, just like you did a hashtag motivated father, how has this experience been motivated for you? Uh, my wife, Amber, and my daughter, Scarlett along with, uh, you know, my faith in Jesus Christ has been my top motivators throughout this entire time from, you know, working part-time jobs to playing football to school, not to this, trying to get my opportunity uh, and provide for my family, but also do something I love, something I feel I can use as a platform um, to share my faith with the world. So. How old is Scarlett? She is, uh, as a few days ago, she was five months old. So she's rolling around in her sleep, keep waking herself up. She's uh, She's a handful, but she's the most precious little girl I've ever seen in my entire life, and I love her more than anything else. What are so. some of the part-time jobs you've had? To, um, to actually, one the of them. Zone? One of them is uh, working with TC Boost, actually helping coach, working at some high schools, working with some youth uh, clinics at the facility, and also Illinois Baseball Academy um, up in Northfield is a job I also do. A lot of guys actually have done that through uh, Northwest, and that's how I actually got hooked up with it. Um, and another one is Flowers for Dreams. I've delivered flowers throughout Chicago and the North suburbs, so. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Probably learned a lot about. Yeah, it did. So, it's been fun. So between uh, your combine and what you were able to show today, you happy with your results? Oh, for the most part, I think. Uh, I mean, I'm just continuously trying to get better, and um, I think I've improved a little bit, you know, from the combine, and I just just trying to improve every day. Um, you know, combine was a great experience for me to, you know, get the testing done and all that. And um, you know, it was just all about doing position drills and football drills, and uh, just getting back to that and playing football again is what I love. So, love doing this. What do you feel like you've proven about yourself so far through not only uh, through the entire pre-draft process? Um, you know, a lot of people um, had knocks about my speed and uh, my ability to you know change the direction really quickly and all that stuff. So I think I was able to prove that um, at the combine. You know, by running you know four six and um, also just doing uh, dominating the position drills here and today and at, and at the combine. You know, I think I was able to showcase my, my talents at both you know both arenas and um, just just exciting time right now. Were you able to get some feedback from teams in terms of? Speed? How they see you fit? Uh, most teams, you know, four three linebacker, middle will, or three four linebacker, the two two inside backers and a three four. So um, you know, I'm willing to play anything. I just want to get on the field, and you know, once I get an opportunity, it's up to me to make the best of it. You're gonna be watching the basketball team on Thursday. Of course, I already ordered my shirt. Uh, I should be home when I get there, so I'll be watching it in Miami. But I'm so excited for those guys. You know, you know, I'm you know very, pretty close friends with all those guys, Sanjay, uh, Vic Law, and Scotty, and all those guys. So definitely, definitely. A, Really, really proud of those guys, and you know they battled through some tough times. You know, Scotty being sick, and you know the the pressure to you know to break the you know the school record. So um, they've been through so much, and you know those guys know that I'm always here for them. So I'm just really proud of those guys. 
for the franchise sphere, what was it like when you go up against the uh, against other linebackers, other people who are kind of the franchise of the Bears programs and you know the big name players there? It's all an experience. Um, you know, I've been, I've you know really become good friends with Rayquan McMillan from Ohio State and you know Jabril Peppers at Michigan. You know, we're really good friends now. But um, you, 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 we're all on the same boat right now. We're all trying to get to the same spot, you know, trying to be a starting linebacker in the NFL. And uh, right now we're, we're, we're nobodies. You know, we're just trying to get there. So everybody's taking that approach. And right now it's all about competition. And, you know, competition brings out the best of everyone. And you saw that at the combine. You saw that today. You know, a lot of guys just competing and, you know, just leaving it all out there. And that's what it's all about. Were you a little surprised? I was surprised Austin wasn't invited to the combine. I mean, you got to size some of those guys up, I'm sure, at some point. You know, how would he just see a fair to them? AC's a baller. You know, he, 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 he's ready for any any venue, as you saw this year, uh, at Ohio State, at Michigan State, at Iowa. You know, the you know three pretty you know dominant defenses over the last couple of years, and, you know, I think he, you know, killed everybody. But, um, again, I think Austin, you know, he didn't get invited, but he came out today and showed that, you know, that doesn't matter. You know, you, you get your opportunity and make the most of it. And, uh, I mean, I think he felt that way, and he's a, he's a man of faith, so I know he knows that God is – you know, God has a, p a way of working out things, so um, I think he's fine. He'll be all right. So between the combine in here, you happy with how things have gone? Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Um, Tommy, Tommy Christian got us right, and um, I think I could have ran my 40 a little bit faster, but uh, but I'm just striving for excellence. But I'm pretty pleased with my performance. What was it like to be at the combine with the best athletes and the best group of uh, players uh, in your class and coming out? It's great. I think uh, one of the coaches or one of the uh, the scouting guys told us, like, you guys are, are the best at what you do, so now I'll compete. So it's kind of like when he was like, you're, you're the best in the world, it's really weird to even think about that. Like, I'm one of the best. They, they selected me as one of the best D linemen in the world right now. So it, it was a lot of fun. Got to meet a lot of cool people, got to compete and show show the scouts what I'm about. Was there some validation in that, feeling like you belong? Yeah, yeah. For, from where my number is tested up, I think that I belong and I, and I, uh, I, should, be, I should get drafted. And a team, a team would even miss me out if they don't draft me. All that being said, can you understand why Austin was not put into that group of the best in the world? Well, like, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a receiver. I just, uh, I just, I got an email and they told me, hey, <laughs> you've been selected. I'm like, yay. So, <laughs> so, but, but yet again, I think Austin turned a lot of heads today. He ran great routes. He ran good times. So, so now it's for the NFL to make their dis, uh, decision with them. Now that you've gotten past the. All these testing things yeah. like that. Now you can get back to football. Just kind of feel like some weight is lifted off now that you're through this. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, like for last, like since uh, we beat Pitt in the bowl game, been just trying to like just look good. Be just uh, the underwear Olympics. That's what Coach Fitz likes to call it. <laughs> so now it's just um, now that I'm done with this, now I'm just really, really excited to get done focusing on football and just mastering my craft, which is getting to the quarterback. Have you gotten a sense of the teams how they envision you as far as you know technique wise or what? So from my understanding, a lot of them want me as kind of a 4-3 guy. But yet again, um, I did some linebacker drills today just to show that uh, you, you, you can, you can, I could be a linebacker and a defensive end. So like I said, I'm willing, I'm, I'll go to any team that wants me cause, and I'll perform well there. Do they see you because you, you took up football later in your life uh, that you still have that untapped raw potential? Exactly. And, uh, and a lot of times I think I turned a lot of heads with the way I ran. They were like, oh, you ran a pretty good time for someone that's 260. I'm like, could have ran faster, but <laughs> hey, if you're pleased, then I'm pleased. Pitt said that your best football still ahead of you. That's yeah, you yeah. Think. Yeah, I agree with that. It's just I don't have to worry about econ classes anymore or <laughs> uh, nor Northwestern, the quarter system. You got a midterm every two weeks <laughs> so before you know it. Uh, I'm falling asleep in class. So, oh, we got a midterm. Oh, tell me about this. Uh, so what's great, um, just talking from guys like Dean and it's just that um, I can wake up and be a professional and just focus on my crafts every single day. Like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. I watch the film and just make football 24-7. And how pumped are you for the basketball and Padres? Oh, uh, it's great, man. It's great. So uh, especially just uh, like Sanjay, guys, seniors like him, I came in with him and seeing there's just the performance. Just I know it's, it's a great time to be a Wildcat. Like we just won a bowl game. Football, football's been going up. Basketball's been going up. So everyone's now hopping on the bandwagon. But I called it from the beginning, so that's why I committed here. <laughs> you were first. Yeah, right? I was first. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Any eye-opening moments at the combine interview-wise? Anything kind of catch you off guard or surprise you? Oh uh, no, or? it was pretty straightforward. So um, I remember everyone was telling me, "Hey, Fadi, what kind of questions they ask you? Did you? Did they ask you some weird questions?" No, they're pretty straightforward. So, so it was a fun, 
it was a fun process because uh, a lot of those scouts, um, I didn't get invited to any All-Star games. So it was kind of like their first time meeting me. So uh, so I ended up meeting with a good majority of the teams there. I think somebody got asked whether they were a dog or a cat. Did you get that one? Oh, I did. I did get that. So. <laughs> and, and, yeah. Unfortunately, I should have said cat, but I, I went with dog. I, I went with dog. So, uh, dog, man's best friend right there. Can't go wrong with yeah. that. Probably want Says a lot about it. Yeah. 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 yeah, but wild cats. So. <laughs> what are your overall thoughts and assessments on today? Uh, finally, you know, uh, it's been a long time waiting. I, I knew that I put up some good numbers and um, never satisfied, but I'm glad that I get to, um, I got to show what I can do out here. What was your reaction when you learned you weren't going? Uh, reaction was disappointment, honestly, um, and just kind of waiting for the waves of invites, but I didn't pout. It was something I had to put behind me and come out here and perform. Um, you, you can never dwell on the past. You can never dwell on your mistakes, other people's mistakes. I do think I should have been invited, but um, I'm confident in my game and I'm confident in the numbers I put up. Did you watch the drills and receiver stuff at the in Indy at all? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, Zay and Didi are, are both, uh, you know, we're kind of close to the NCAA um, awards route circuit, and uh, it was great to see them. You know, they did they did what I expected them to do, which is ball out. Does part of you think, man, I, I should have been there watching those guys, and I should have been playing and competing? Honestly, yeah, by then I'd put it behind me. Okay. I wasn't pouting. Uh, it was just time to move on. Today's a big game yeah. for you. Did you think at any point there might be too much pressure, just that you had this one opportunity where some other guys get the pro day and the yeah. combine day? Yeah, and all yeah. That. Um, I feel really blessed that I got to do it here because yeah. this is home. Uh, this. All of the routes I've run and all the drills I've done in this indoor um, didn't feel pressure. The coaches around, my teammates around, um, it, it was great. If, even if there was pressure, um, I like pressure. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of like that. Uh, third and long, throw me the ball. A yeah. little home field advantage almost. Mm -hmm. here. Definitely yeah. home field Working advantage. With Zach, what was that like? Your yeah. Well? Oh, it was great. Zach has one of the best balls that I've ever caught. Um, tight spirals, right on, on right on the money, except for one, but we're good. <laughs> We're good. Give him flack for that. I, I'm probably going to find him or something. I hear the NFL does that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did the uh, Shrine game do, do for you? What was that experience like? And, and how do you think you performed that? What was there? So. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shrine game was a chance to compete with guys who are um, all stars, obviously. And uh, that was a chance, honestly, for me uh, to get in a playbook from the NFL. Um, Northwestern, we have conceptual, a conceptual kind of offense. I know it's different in the NFL, and uh, being able to grab an, uh, the Vikings offensive playbook and um, learn it quickly and you know getting comfortable with it, yeah. uh, I know that's going to be the challenge coming into a rookie minicamp, and uh, um, I think I did well with that. It was great to be around the guys, too. Great to play hard for uh, for teammates that you had for only a week. So what were the biggest differences that you noticed? I mean, is it the route depth? Is it the adjustments you have to make? Or what was that? Yeah, um, I mean, it, it's weird that they can't. Like the DBs really can't touch you down the field. Right. Um, yeah. Big Ten football, you know, you're getting elbows and arms and even shoulder pads sometimes down the field. But um, the, the refs are really um, particular about that. Right. But on top of that, it was getting to your spots quickly. And um, you have less time. It's just a faster game. And I'm yeah. ready for that. You had a lot of productive games, obviously, this past year. Mm -hmm. Is there any one tape that you hope, so this is the tape that shows what I can do? Um, yeah, the Ohio State game. Uh, that was where we were all clicking on all four cylinders. Felt great. Me and Clayton were in a great rhythm. The whole offense was um, kind of off and on, but when we hit our rhythms, um, when I'm like that with any quarterback, I, I don't think we can be beat. Those, those so. Ohio State corners, that secondary has been talked about a lot. Do you like right. that you just keep hearing them being talked about and you know what you did against them? The better they do, the better I look. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're good. Say, I we're go all go okay, you. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Since the pit game, this has been the focus, just getting mm -hmm. ready. And now that it's behind you, what is that feeling like? And what do you do now? And <clears throat> it's it's a sigh of relief. It's time to become a football player again, not a track star. Uh, and I can't wait. Uh, I think I'm a better receiver, a route runner than runner in particular. Uh, but Tommy Christian at TC Boost made me into more of a runner. And I think that's just going to boost my game. And it's no pun intended, but it's going to make me better. And um, I, I'm going to become a better receiver for day for training for a day like today. How often do you look back so. as to where you came from to where you are now? Um, honestly, I don't look back very often, but when I get these kinds of questions, I can just only respond with thankfulness. Thankfulness to God, thankfulness to my teammates, to the people around me who believed in me, who encouraged me, who waited for me to finally, you know, were stuck with me in three years of, you know, not really catching a ball and 
um, uh, yeah, just I'm just grateful. Are you juggling yeah. everything right now? You've got weddings, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and job interviews mm -hmm. and everything going on. How, how did how was that like for you? All right, so again, I'm blessed to have a fiance who's right. you know figuring out the guest list and things like that. Um, it, it's it's honestly slowing down now. There's fewer things to worry about. As weird as that might sound, um, being in the off season and just training, um, having just a couple classes a week, and um, the wedding, like I said, my fiance is great with that. She's been um, just the sweetheart with the planning and everything. So, like I said, I mean, I'm thankful. I have a team around me who's really helping me out. I won't be there or anything, but when is the wedding? Oh day? yeah, <laughs> man! If you could go on the registry though, we'd okay, like something. Yeah. A toaster. <laughs> I need a toaster. Yeah. Where are you guys registered? Um, might give, give it out. A registered Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they better pay me for, for that. Uh, and then Crate and Barrel. We're gonna check that out good. too. Um, really good. Yeah. Promotional incentive yeah, programs. Right? Yeah, so if anyone's here is going to do that one day. Yeah. Joe, uh, have been friends since freshman year. How have mm -hmm. you looked at him kind of as a role model going into the future at Madison? Oh, man. Joe's been uh, a brother and a, and a great teammate the past five years. Um, he's just risen up the ranks, kind of like me. And uh, through it all, I mean, he, he put up some insane numbers today, and I'm so happy for him. Um, he has a child, literally a baby human that's his. Um, <laughs> And, and he's one of the hardest workers that I've seen during this off season. So, um, really grateful for our friendship, and we're going to stay in touch wherever he ends up getting drafted. What are you in charge of for the wedding? Anything? What am I in charge of for the did wedding? Find the DJ or I did. Pieces? Yes, okay. my DJ. I figured out the DJ. Okay. Um, I I help with location and date. Uh, the date's kind of contingent on uh, the NFL schedule. On top of that, it's. Um, we, we have gone back and forth a little bit about who to invite and who not to invite, and it's really hard. Mm -hmm. Coach Fitz, he's not coming, so he's getting invited, but he said he's not going to come. Is this a so. Saturday during the football season? No, this will be during like the break between mini camp and then OTAs, I think. Okay. Um, so yeah, it'll be July 9th. Yeah. He can send you a gift legally, right? Yes. Okay. Coach <laughs> Fitz <laughs> said he's a good gift giver. So he also kind of was talking about how you know you cut your teeth on special teams early on. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you kind of now? Mm -hmm what what roles you may play in those uh, regards yeah NFL, definitely uh, get in where you fit in special teams is where you'll you make the same paycheck as yeah. special teams as you might the star wide receiver so um, really just being able to contribute and give a great work ethic like I've all like I always have and um, really contributing to the team what the spots goal. did you play early on uh, yeah so I did um, mostly kickoff return and punt return and then some kickoff as well and where so. uh, where on like Kickoff team, where did, where did you line up? L uh, L two, L three, okay. yeah, um, kind of a gunner, a full player. Okay. Yeah. 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 You've been locked in with this, but how cool is it to see the basketball team going to the first? Oh man, I'm I'm so proud of them. Beat Vandy, you know. I hope I hope that they go deep. I think that they can, uh, as long as we're on hitting our shots. You never know. Have you started doing a little scouting on Vandy and, uh, uh, and what the matchups gonna be looking like? No, I I've, I've been running my shuttles. Yeah, exactly. so I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I so. After this, though, I'll have some time. Yeah. You're gonna do it now. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it right now.